everyone and welcome to another video with my sister because I'm back at home. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. I didn't really know what to film today but seeing as we're both big movie fans we've made a list. Where's yours? Mine was terrible. <laughs> no it's fine. But we've both made a list of our top 10 favourite movies of all time. <laughs> we think. <laughs> We've probably forgot some. Yeah, I, I definitely have. I definitely have forgotten some. You need to go first. How are we doing it? We'll do one, one, one. Okay. So, number one on my list, which probably doesn't surprise many of you. And it's not in order. Oh yeah, it's not really in order. But this is the first one that came, comes to mind. So, it's Back to the Future. <laughs> um, probably the first one. Yeah, I love the other two as well, but Back to the Future is definitely the top. Mm -hmm. I've got a huge poster in my uni room, which all of you obviously know. And yeah, so that's my favourite list. And then mine. My ones... This makes me sound like a child. My ones were Little Mermaid. Yay! <laughs> that, that was a good one though. And that's obviously your favourite. Is it? Yeah. My favourite Disney princess. You can turn into a mermaid whenever you want. Ah, sing! <laughs> no. Okay, no. <laughs> My next favourite movie is 13 Going on... Blah, blah, 30. I said two. I forgot about that. 13 Going on 30. It was probably my favourite childhood movie. Um, I just love... I just love Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo. I, especially together in that movie, but... I remember I used to watch it every single, like, whenever possible. Probably not every single day, I was going to say every single day, but probably not. But whenever possible, that used to be the movie that I would watch all the time. And yeah, I feel like I haven't watched it in ages, so I kind of want to watch it soon. I think the thriller part for me is the favourite. <laughs> when, when she's just going... <laughs> or whatever she does. My one is... Wait, what is it? <laughs> Love Rosie! <laughs> Oh no! I didn't put that on. <gasps> that means I forgot the best of me as well. Okay, well, Love Rosie and the Best of Me are my favourites too, but I forgot the one. I'm sorry. Why do you like it, Sarah? Because it's funny. Is it though? It is. It's quite and sad. sad as well. With this mixed emotions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's nice because. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it's, it can happen in real life, it seems like. That's more like a real life movie like 13 going to 30 that probably wouldn't happen in real life. That probably wouldn't happen, that definitely wouldn't happen. Oh. A 13 child would go in a closet and turn 13. I don't know, in years to come. True, true. That could happen. <laughs> Third one is How to Steal a Million which is with Audrey Hepburn. How to Steal a Million. How to Win a Million. No. How to Steal a Million Dollars. It's How to Steal a Million. I think. It's a good film. I can clarify it is How to Steal a Million. Just saying. So yeah, Audrey Hepburn and Peter O'Toole, two of my favourite older actors. I love that movie so much. Mm. Ah! Okay, my one is Catch and Fire. Hunger Games. I think that's my favourite. Hunger Games ones? Yeah, favourite. Which one's that one? The second one. Yeah, see, my knowledge for Hunger Games is that's my favourite one. This was my favourite book as well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Because you get to meet Finnick, who's also in Love Sam Rosie. Kathleen. Yeah. Sam Kathleen. <laughs> and then it's all like, and then you're like, oh my god. And then you realise, ah, oh, he's not actually bad. And then you're like, oh my god, Peter's, he's gone. Ah, Peter! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Peter! Then, this is like, I'm gonna meme a syringe against the world. And Hamish is like, what are you doing? That's Catching Fire summed up for you in about 10 seconds, I think. <laughs> my next movie isn't probably one that's on many people's list, but it's on my list purely because every time I watch it, it never fails to make me laugh, and that's Date Night with Tina Fey uh, and Steve Carell. Is that his name? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I think. That's a good film. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's just, it's just one of those films that if I don't know what to watch, I'll put that on and it will leave me laughing. No, I don't get drunk while watching this film. <laughs> Wait, 
My fourth one is Mean Girls. Mm-hmm. Good, classic. Yeah. Why did you choose? Well, it's just one that a lot of people know. Yeah. Because pretty much a lot of people have seen it and it's something. I remember watching it quite a bit at school. Definitely our PS. Yeah. And it's just like, Mean Girls. And everyone knows like the reference when we're hands and out candy canes. I don't want to do it. Because you go, Glenn, go, go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My next one is also a DVD that I've picked out here. Don't look. Oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I guess she found out. <laughs> next see. one is Some Like It Hot, which White Chicks is a remake, isn't it? I guess you could say. Could you say remake? But it's not remake because it's obviously diff titled differently. No. But it's kind of the same storyline. No. Yes, it is. No. Yes, it is. Kinda, but no. Yes, yes it, it is. is. No. Two men dress up as women to get where they want to go. Yeah, but in white girls, um, white chicks, white chicks, <laughs> they um, dress up as those girls because. Dead. Yeah, it's not exactly. It doesn't. It's not exactly like this one. Um, these two chased. want to be. These two are being chased as well. Remember? That's why it's kind of similar. Chased, it's just a different storyline, but the main storyline's the same. Okay. But I love this. I love all the actors. I sell seashells. <laughs> I love that part. I hit the DVD really hard just then. But this is definitely one of my favourite movies. So go see it. So my fifth one is We're the Millers, and I love that movie! I forgot to put it down. <laughs> I was thinking because I've watched it quite a few, like I've seen it quite a few times and I just find it really funny. No, it's Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls. Listen to okay, that one, <laughs> I don't know the words. This next one is one of my favourite musicals. I have many favourite musicals, but I might do a separate video oh, of just favourite musicals. But this is Oliver, and you know how much I love Oliver. Like, no, I want no, to be Nancy. No, no, no. Was that? <laughs> it sounded like <laughs> Oliver, Oliver. Yeah, but then I, I thought you were just going, oh. <laughs> My next one is Marvel the Avengers. Ooh, girl. Because I like it. How many times have you seen it though? Not a lot, but I really like it. I like that one. It's See, I fun. I wrote a list here of no. ones possible candid can 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 you even see it? <laughs> possible candidates that could make the um, ten top favourites, and I had Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, that's that's um, with Karen Gillan, isn't it? Isn't it one of the yeah, two? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, Groot. Yeah, Groot. And she's a green one. Back. Yeah. Or oh, blue. I, forgot. I thought, oh, yeah, or she's blue. Green. I haven't seen the trailer. I forgot! <laughs> yeah, I like this one. Well, I've, I've watched it properly for once, and then it was on TV, and I was watching it, and then I was like, wait, it has Robin. S What's her name? Robin Skidman from there. From um, Robin Shabatsky. Well, that's her character. How I, I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your it's Mother. It's like, cool, cool, I can't remember her name. But yeah, she's in it. Oh, I was like, oh! And then I was watched it a bit, but then I had to do something, <laughs> so I didn't watch Great finish. Story. My seventh one, which is probably, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be on your list because it was one of your favourites, but Something Borrowed. <gasps> I forgot I Love Rosie, that so that's fine. Uh, but Something Borrowed, who is it? Uh, yeah, Jennifer Goodwin. Uh, is that her name? What a, yeah, Jennifer Goodwin. But I don't know if it's good, I don't know. Uh, Kate Hudson. And, and that guy who played Dexter. Yeah, and the other guy, the one that's married to... I forgot. But yeah, yeah that is a good movie. Um, it's the part where he works with the... Is it tennis or...? Oh yeah, um, and his one knows. Badminton. Yeah, but no, that is a really, really good movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's made it to my top ten. Maybe you don't have this one. This one... As my seven is Miss Congeniality. What? I can't even say it. Miss Congeniality. How did I forget that? That was my favourite one. I forgot all of Sandra Burke. Bur I can't, blah, I blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Miss, wait. Let's see what you wrote. Yeah, it's Fine. Nice. I forgot all of Sandra Bullock's movies. Like, but he. Oh my gosh! I forgot like Gravity. Gravity. The Proposal. The Proposal is one of my favourites. What is going on? Okay. I think I'm gonna do. Separate 
uh, like favorite Disney films. But this is just a favorite in general. That's what I said. Yeah, but separate videos as well. Uh, uh, so you'll yeah. be seeing that in the future. <laughs> I picked that one because it's one of the first films I remember watching with like my mum and sister. I've watched it so many times. Yeah. You bitch. forget. Well, I've written a, a list of ten, like ten favorite movies, which are my favorite. But like that and Love Rosie should have also been in here. Now I'm thinking I should swap a few. But I don't want to because I love these so much. Okay, your turn. Okay. Number eight is definitely not one that I'll be swapping out if I ever need to, and it's Peter Pan. What one, Bo? Uh, see, this is why I didn't really understand. I didn't know. The cartoon or Jeremy Sumter. But I think I'm going to go with Jeremy Sumter one purely because I forgot his name. I love the one that plays uh, Mr. Darling and Captain Hook. He's also in um, Harry Potter. As a Draco's father? Mmm, yes. I forgot his I forgot his name, but he's one of my favourite actors, so. My turn? No. Just like Sandra Bullock is that she should be in the top ten as well. Okay, my eighth one, which Jennifer's already said, is Back to the Future. Oh, I didn't realise it was your favourite as well. Well, I'll just put it on because Yeah. <laughs> so it's not actually your favourite? Nah, I was thinking you I was like... You can put something borrowed there then instead. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. My ninth one is Ooh, drum roll. <laughs> what? Drum roll. My ninth one is Pretty Woman. Ah. Sorry. It's okay. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> I love that film. I like it. Watched it quite a few times. My ninth one is okay. I've only watched this film once in the cinema. But I didn't know what else to put, and then I saw it on my phone because I was looking for a movie. So I was like, hmm, that was actually a pretty good film, and I would watch it again probably. The originals are good too. I've seen the original, but I was just thinking, why not? Oh, Jurassic World. <gasps> yes, Jurassic World. I just I've like watched it. that twice now. That that would have made my favourites top ten favourites if I've watched it a bit more. I think, I but that's one of my favourites too. Like it and stuff. Right, I'm on to my last one. This is no order, no order, but I've put this one on because I've watched it again, I've watched it so many times and the little child actor is the cutest thing ever. He's also, his brother is also in another movie, but I forgot what movie it was in now. I forgot. But it's The Switch with um, Jason Bateman and Jennifer Aniston. I forgot about August Cross. For those of you who don't know, August Rush was the first movie that made me cry. And it is... Okay, fine. I'm gonna make a top 20s list. <laughs> okay, my one... Okay, I didn't know what else to put, so I decided to put another Disney film. I'll put Beauty and the Beast. Why are you so happy? Oh, I'll put Beauty and the Beast! <laughs> yeah! There's something sweet and almost kind. But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined <gasps> And now he's dead <laughs> so sorry. unsure I wonder why I didn't see it there before <laughs> Okay <laughs> So We said we'd do Especially on my behalf I think <laughs> Ten favourites so I think many. I should have made it a bit more <laughs> I'm going to read some of the um, Added ones oh. Just quickly, because I want to mention these movies because otherwise I feel bad. Papa Yon, I think that's Dustin Hoffman and Steve McQueen. But that is a brilliant movie. So, do you have another? White House Gone Down. Okay. I know that's a good movie. Ah. Inception. I wanted to put that on there so badly, but I've only ever seen it once. I think I need to see it again just to understand it. For those of you who've seen it, obviously, it leaves you with very. Like, you're confused, basically, because that's fitting in the time. You get it. <laughs> oh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <gasps> that's a good one. Singing in the Rain, I forgot as well. How to lose a guy in ten days. And Fool's Gold. I forgot Matthew McConaughey movies. He's meant to be my favourite actor. <laughs> and Annie. This just goes to prove that that's however stupid. hard you may... <laughs> however hard you may think... You can never remember Anything. all of your favourite <laughs> films. Hey, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy this very messy 10 top favourites, which turned out to be 
just a list of movies we like. <laughs> but I hope from our reactions you can kind of tell which were our favourites, I guess. And also, if you did want to watch any of them, please do and write them down in the comments below with how you enjoyed them or if you didn't enjoy them and write down any other movies that maybe we've missed and if I really do like them I will comment something like oh my gosh how did I forget this movie you have to read it like that if I write that <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see Sarah very soon I guess oh a little hiccup we'll just call it a hiccup instead of a burp yeah okay <laughs> thank you very much and I'll see you very soon with another video bye Mwah!